Hey, um, today I'm just going to do an unboxing of one of my limited edition metal prints and then, yeah, hang it up on the wall, show you what it's all about, show you what the packaging is like on your print that will be delivered. They're all delivered in the uh, contained box and each print will be sealed in plastic and that goes for paper, canvas and metal. Alright, so let's get to the embarrassing moments of me unboxing this print. Hi there, my name is Luke Seen, and I'm just doing an unboxing today of a limited edition metal print. Um, I specialise in HDR photography, but I like all types of photography. So I've also got a background in painting and drawing and a little bit of sculpture as well. But today I just wanted to unbox a metal print to show you what they're all about and why you might buy one. Um, they're museum quality prints, which means there are archival materials and these craftsmen that last over a hundred years. Uh, they're extremely sharp and very breathtaking. Um, they've got excellent colour saturation and contrast. And yeah, let's just open it up. So this is 24 by 36 inch and it's not as heavy as I was going to expect. It's probably So I've turned it over and it's just taped down. So Five bracket HDR on Service Paradise Coastline. So yeah, I'm just shooting this on my Nikon D800 with a 14 to 24 millimeter lens. Got it on uh, the program mode, which is for amateurs, but um, it's just really easy with this autofocus. So I'm just showing you some of the detail that you can get in HDR, which you can't really get in normal photography. You're able to get all the detail in the lights as well as the shadows and you can just get heaps of detail in this camera as well. The autofocus on the D800 isn't too bad, which has nothing to do with this print, but um, yeah, I just always shoot in still mode, so I don't make a lot of video. So yeah, side on, you can see the sheet of metal is about 1 to 2 mil thick, and then it's got like a black foam core board on the back as well. And on the back here, here's the hanging system. It's a metal sheet glued on the foam core. It's just got three holes in it. The entire print probably weighs about, I don't know, 700 grams. It's actually really light. So we're just going to go down and show you how it looks on the wall now with the floating mount system. really nice and shiny, that's what I like about it actually. 
can see like a shadow up there. And it's about a centimeter from the edge. I actually thought it was going to be like an inch, but I'm happier that it's smaller like this. And yeah, that's how the metal prints look on the wall. So you can kind of see all the individual houses and boats. So we're just back online now and you might be watching this on my site on one of my latest blogs at lukeseam.com or you could be watching this on YouTube. Either way, um, just going to my photography shop through my website. And here's my photography shop based at Smug Mug. But if we just click on the galleries, you can see there's the limited edition prints or the main print gallery. Currently I'm only selling one limited edition, the one I just showed you. I'm just going to sell 25 of these and then end the series. And that'll be done with only my best and favourite prints. I'm only offering a select amount of choices uh, for the limited edition prints. So we have them in photography, canvas or metal, the one you just saw. And there's two choices of the metal. I just got the 24 by 36 heading back to my standard print gallery. All these prints are done with archival materials as I've said earlier in the video and that's just a fancy name for museum quality. So I've enabled metal prints on all of these so you, you can just select buy this photo and you scroll down and I've actually got five sizes here available for metal prints in this collection. The other thing you can do in my gallery is view the image in different sizes. So I've locked it off at X3 large. There's actually larger ones than that and they end up being too big for your screen. You can only see about a fifth of the image because they're so big. So X3 large is good. It's just and that ends up being almost 24 inches wide. You can see the amount of detail in a shot like this. You can zoom in even further and see right into the buildings here. So I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing video and a demonstration of my images. And it ended up being a little tour of the features of my photography shop, but that's alright. Alright, signing off.